Hey all, welcome to this session today. So feature line curb design, stepped offsets in Civil 3D. So what we're gonna do is we have a feature line created, it's our fold line, and we're gonna offset it, create our top of curb, back of curb. And then following up on this, we are gonna, in the next video, we'll add this to our service as a break line. So this is piggybacking off a previous session where we created our flow line from our grading. So we created a center line, so to speak, of our parking lot. We had some known elevations, some known grades between those elevations of that feature line. Then we just graded down from that feature line, negative 2% slope. Then we create our flow line from the elevations of those gradings. Now that we have this flow line, we are gonna create our top curve back curve. So flow line created, so this could be, you know, this could be done in another fashion, but this was created from our gradings. We're going to take a look at this in Civil 3D just to, you know, review what that is. And then we're going to create a top of curve. So we're going to offset our uh, feature line. Now, keep in mind, one thing when you offset is the feature line can't be right on top of the, um, the flow line. So it needs to be offset back uh, distance. So 0.01 is the distance, the minimum you can do, but a tenth of a foot is... Um, is another way, you know, another practice to do as well. So generally speaking, when we work with like machine control, for example, we have a tenth of a foot uh, room for a uh, margin of error. So a tenth of a foot can actually be a little better because the feature lines have a little more distance between them and it's a little easier to work with. A hundredth of a hundredth of a foot, they're basically on top of each other. It's really hard to select them when you're, uh, when you're working with them. And then we're gonna create our back curve. So offsetting from that original feature line, uh, 0.5 and 0.5. All right, let's bounce into Civil and let's take a look at this. So bouncing out, boom, boom. Right here, right here, right here. All right, so just zooming out here. So this is what we created in our previous session. We had this feature line right here we created from, a, created from an object that was in our x ref signed some gradings to it, some elevations to it. And then we graded down from this feature line. This is our grading right here. So right here and right here. Graded, graded down from that feature line, negative 2% instruction. Then we created this full line feature line from that. So whatever elevations that was, that was our full line. See, we have a lot of points here. We haven't weeded it. We won't weed it just because uh, it's come, you know, we, sometimes you have to make some decisions on like the curves and whatnot. And so let, let's not weed it right now. We're just gonna just go straight to offset. All right, so we have our feature line selected here. This is our flow line. Most flow line, name of it right here. Now we're gonna use what's called this stepped offset command right here. And boom, 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 stepped offset right here. Edit geometry. So stepped offset, and we're gonna specify an offset distance. So this is our distance in the away from it. So let's just do it as 0 0.1. We're gonna do a 10th of a foot. So distance 0 0.1 right here, 0.1. Specify offset side, we're gonna pick outside of it, boom. And then specify elevation difference, grade, slope, elevation variable. So we're gonna make this 0.5, it's gonna be point, half a foot higher. So 0.5 and then boom. Might take a second here, we do have a lot of points from that feature line. And then if we go ahead and zoom in here, we can see here is our stepped offsetted feature line right here. Okay. And you have know, see, keep in mind, this is a tenth of a foot between these two, a tenth of a foot right here. So you could do 0.1 if you really wanted to have just, you know, right, very close. But keep in mind, when you zoom in to select, you got to zoom way in to select it or do it in another fashion versus like, you know, you could just select it a lot easier about a tenth of a foot. All right. The same thing again. So now we're going to do our back of curve. So actually, first, let's go ahead and name that feature line. So hit escape here. And we're gonna go to our sites right here and our grading site, our feature lines. And notice this one doesn't have a name. So we'll call this just TLC top curve. Okay, top curve, feature line defined. All right, so now going back to our flow line here, I'm gonna select this again. And we're gonna use our stepped offset right here. Stepped offset. And here's our offset distance. So now we're gonna do 0.5 and 0.5. So half foot, half foot, 0.5. Select our offset side right here. Select side to offset right here, boom. And then elevation difference, 0.5, and enter. I'll just cook for a second. And now we have our back of curve. So we have our flow line, top of curve, back of curve. Let's go to our sites here. And see if I give that a second update. Oh, we have to unselect the command, then it comes back. And we'll just call this back curve. 
All right. Now we have these selected. Let's go ahead and let's just grab and take a look at what we just did here. Boom, boom. I could open an object here. I think this should work my... um. All right, let's zoom in here. So now we can see this is what we just did right here. So here's our flow line, top of curve, back of curve. And then jump into the next session, we're just gonna add this to a surface as a brake line and create our parking lot, um, create our parking lot surface. All right, see you in the next session on the other side.